Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Recently I asked you all to write down in the comments some of your favorite YouTubers who have piercings. A lot of them are alternative YouTubers. This also might give you guys some ideas of some new people you want to watch if you're into alternative fashion or alternative culture. I guess a lot of them focus on fashion and hair and makeup and all those kinds of things. There's some really cool people in here so I would definitely recommend checking them out if you like what you see. And because you guys gave me so bloody many, I would really like to do two parts to this because there are so many people that I think I would love to look at and I'm sure you guys would love to look at as well that just like two parts is just how we're gonna have to do this because otherwise I'm gonna be talking for like two hours and I don't know if you want to hear that I don't know if I want to hear myself talk for that goddamn long so we will go with two parts okay but this is just part one uh, let's begin so to begin I'm going to start with the one the only our Lord and Savior because absolutely almost everyone mentioned this particular YouTuber and that would be Rolly, of course. And it might sound really weird, but I've never really looked at Rolly's piercings because Rolly's like just the type of person that you're just like, yep, yeah, Rolly's got a lot of piercings. And it's not really something you second guess. They suit him. You know how sometimes if a piercing doesn't seem to look right or you're just like, I don't know, someone might just have one piercing, it really stands out. But with a lot of piercings, you're like, these piercings suit you and it just is like, it's who he is almost. Rolly has a lot of piercings. So to have that many piercings and them to just like, Yep, that's right. That they are meant to be there. That's a good that's like the best thing <laughs> you could basically have. When we see Rolly's ears, they are just stacked. He's got a lot. I wouldn't even know how many. I'm sure there would have to be over 20, maybe 30. It seems like he tends to go with bright colors and spikes in a lot of the jewelry that he wears. Recent photos of Rolly looks like he has like both sides of his nose pierce, he wears spikes in them, he wears spikes in his septum, and then uh, it's kind of hard to tell, you may have to tell me if I'm wrong, but it looks like there's like two lip piercings and one potentially has a horseshoe in it with like a spike and a ball. There's a whole lot of cartilage piercings in here, we love. Rolly must truly love not having to sleep on his side for all the times that he's had to heal those bad boys. That's tough, I can tell you that. Do we have a conch punch in there? Because if we do, Rolly's just getting tougher and tougher to me as time goes on. I'm so impressed. It looks like he's changed up from what he used to wear, like a lot of colorful, bright jewelry, and now has toned down to, I assume, just some titanium in there. Personally, that is what I am all about as well. I'm not really one for anything too crazy with my jewelry either. I like to just tone it down to basic Titanium, so like a silver look. I've tried different things in the past, like mainly black and opal are things that I've gone through it for, and I just, uh, I don't know. It's not for me. I love it on other people. There's always been something about the simplicity of having like the standard titanium, just like a silver. And then I try to explore and adventure a little bit, but I've always just come back to wearing standard like balls too. like. At least Rolly tries something a little bit different and he'll put in some spikes and that sort of thing, but me, I'm like, nope. The only thing I ever really experiment with is my Medusa, and even then I, like, <laughs> I come back to what I've always sort of had in the end, anyway. I've always been drawn to that as well, so Rolly and I, I feel like we're on the same page. Oops, sorry, I forgot to do this so that... <laughs> Whatever. Rolly's definitely experimented in the past, it looks like. He's gone through quite a few different styles of jewelry and just feeling out what he likes. He's done some crazy stuff, but has now, it, now it looks like, I could be wrong, unless this is just a temporary thing. It looks like at the moment he's just come back to the standard and I'm here for it, I'm so about it. And Rolly also has some little baby tunnels in there as well. I'm impressed with Rolly's endurance to continue getting piercings, go through that, like that's a lot of cartilage piercings and those like, cartilage piercings can be a little bit of a bastardo to heal, but he's done it and he's rolling through, so. Thank you for doing this for us, Rolly. So another YouTuber that we have, people may also maybe more so know her from Instagram though as well, Manami Frost. She does have a YouTube channel, if people didn't know that. She's changed things up a little bit nowadays because 
She has taken out her like iconic cheek piercings. They were like a huge thing. She was really well known for like they were like filters of her face and stuff and they had the cheek piercings in them. But she has taken those out now but she would always wear like black balls on her cheek piercings. She also has a stretch medusa or a philtrum. She always seems to wear stone in this and it looks so beautiful. I love it so much. I remember back in the day I was so obsessed with it. I literally like researched like what size she wore in it because like I loved the size but I never wanted to stretch my Medusa however I was like maybe I can find some jewelry that is that size that can like emulate that without having to have it stretched and I know that's a total cop out but whatever I'm I'm too much of a pussy I'm not gonna do it so I used to wear a very large top on my librette bar that I would wear just so I could sort of emulate that. That was literally the reason why I used to wear that because I just thought it was such a cool look and I'm like, oh, well, I'm never gonna stretch it. What's the best I can do? I think she stretched up over the years, potentially. It looks like nowadays she just wears the Medusa jewelry. Magnificente is all I can say. It looks like most of the time she just wears her lobes like pulled up around her ear, like as you can see here. So they're not like hanging down. She just folds them over her ears. Hilarious, I love it. She's just like, oh, I don't give a and next we have Bailey Sarian. I hope I'm saying that right. I do know what channel she's from, but I genuinely have never watched it. I know she's huge and everyone is obsessed and she is beautiful, that is for sure. But yeah, I've just never really gotten into watching it. Bailey here was mentioned a lot. And my God, we have another Medusa. It genuinely looks amazing. I love it so much. She has these big juicy lips that are just immaculate they're beautiful it just complements her lips so much it adds just a little bit of a twinkle to them it's quite small and dainty and subtle but it's just like I don't know it just adds a little glimmer to her face and I'm really I'm about it her whole face structure with that is I love it this sort of look always makes me very sad that I don't have big juicy lips like that because I think Medusa's look so damn good with them but what am I gonna do? Nothing. And we have another very popular one and that is It's Black Friday. And I love, love, love so much that she's from New Zealand, very close to home. She has a bunch of lip piercings. Another one that I couldn't imagine without these piercings. They're meant to be there. I can't imagine without. And we also have a septum as well. I genuinely have so much respect for anyone who has that many lip piercings and can still do their lipstick flawlessly. So <laughs> I, I'm so about it. It would definitely be a challenge, but I'm sure she's probably like just expert level at this point. Definitely someone who I'm like, I can't see you without them. You suit these, they are perfection, love, love, love. And next up we have Morgan Joyce. So Morgan, someone who has changed her look a lot over the years as well. She has gone from having massive stretched ears to now having no stretched ears. She has kept some of her piercings along the way, her cheek piercings, love, love, love. I've always loved them. Morgan and Manami are like reasons why I was like, mm, do I want cheek piercings? Because they look so good on them and I can't imagine either of them without them. I'm so glad that Morgan has kept them in. Morgan's look has really evolved over the years. Had like half black, half blonde hair and was very much into like the side fringe and all that sort of thing. Look at them lobes, like wild. I think over the years her look has really matured in the best kind of way and it still really suits her to have these piercings. It looks like she still has both of her nose piercings like either side as well. Now next we have Quickened. Her piercings were really hard to find because it looks like she's gotten rid of maybe all of them. I'm not 100% sure if she even has any of her piercings anymore. She's obviously definitely had her earlobes reconstructed though and it also looks like she's taken her Medusa out as well obviously because it was stretched so we would notice if there was something in there. It also looks like she has a maybe two, not 100% sure because of this picture, a conch punch as well. You can tell when she had like all her jewelry in she definitely had a bit of a different look. It looks like lights here actually. It looks a lot more really focusing on the alternative look. It looks like her fashion again has matured and changed over time as well. It just looks like she's taken a lot of our pier her piercings out, which like happens. I think she looks great with and without them. Do miss that stretch Medusa though, just because I'm such a fan. I think it looks great. Maybe I just really like them, but I'm not doing it, okay? Another goth queen we have is Toxic Tears. For one, this look is so freaking cute. Secondly, this jewelry is 
wild. So cool. It's so crazy because she looks so cute and her jewelry is like so metal and so like in your face and like you. But it suits her so much. I don't understand. Basically what I'm trying to say is it's a really cool contrast. The big boy spikes and that lip jewelry are incredible. It is so unique and I love it. You look at it and you want to keep looking. That's what that jewelry does. Sometimes I just skim past piercings. Just some piercings just blend in and you don't they, they don't really stand out and you don't really notice them. This is some jewelry that you're gonna notice and this is what she wants. She wants you to notice that jewelry. You do not wear this to not have it noticed. I love it. I love that. It's like in your face she's like I am a goth queen and I'm gonna show you how much of a goth queen I am that lip jewelry is so cool I am obsessed I love it I love it I love it she also has tunnels as well we have Naomi John such a cute lady I literally only found her recently as well because she was constantly coming up in my reels on Instagram and I was like who this and then I realized that she had a YouTube channel. She's got both sides of her nostril pierced with rings, very cute. These are the types of lips that I would love to see Medusa on. If you can't tell, I'm all about those juicy lips having a Medusa. I almost was like opening the pictures, being ready and waiting. In my mind, she has one. Like that's why I was like, when I opened the pictures, I was like, oh damn, she doesn't have one. I genuinely thought she had one anyway. So like, that's what I mean. Like it's it would suit her. She should get one. Someone tell her that she needs to get her Medusa pierced. Mwah. It would be so delish on those lippies. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give a like down below and let me know who your favorite was in the comments. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and I will be back very soon.